here we are in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're studying many different things and we're going around uh, Georgia, visiting various places to bring our history and our culture uh, to us. And there are just things that have, have come about that we just may not know the beginnings of. And I'd like to take uh, this moment to just talk about a word, the etymological meaning of a word that is used. And today, people get very offended by this word. But at one time, they were very proud of this word. They went around saying that they were really good at this. And the word that I'd like to talk about is cracker. Cracker is said to be a word that comes from craic, C-R-A-I-C, which is a European word that comes from places such as um, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, um, parts of the UK. It was used uh, to talk about poor people. Uh, it was used to talk as it relates to the, the beginnings of the word and how it has come to us. Uh, it, basically, we crack a joke. Crack a joke. Comes out strong. Or we say to somebody, you're a wisecracker. You're always making wisecracks. These words that have come to us being used have taken different phases of its meaning. And so when you're looking at a word like cracker, while if you said it today, such as that cracker this or that cracker that, normally means somebody who is of European descent. You say, that's a white cracker over there. That's a redneck white cracker, okay? Things like that. But the reality of it is, is that uh, Georgia is very much like Australia. It's you, it was used as a prison. Australia was one big Rikers Island. Georgia, named after King George, was a penal colony that was used as an intermediary prison so that it could stop Africans from getting to Florida to join forces with another indigenous African group known as the Seminoles. So Georgia acted as a buffer state to catch them before they could get to Florida. And in Georgia, they would hire the poor people of European descent to be prison guards. And while many of them did not necessarily carry guns, they carried whips. And in order to keep people in line, to keep, keep people frightened, enslaved Africans and some poor whites that commit crimes, they would crack the whip, crack the whip and they were known as crackers. And when a poor white would go for a job as a prison guard, because many times that's about the only job they could find, they never hesitated to say, I'm the best cracker you'll ever hire. I'm a good cracker, I'm the best cracker. I'm a handsome cracker. I'll keep everybody in line, I, I, I'm a cracker, I'll crack the whip. I'm a cracker. Georgia came to be known as the Cracker State. Before now, we call it the Peach State. But Cracker was not a derogatory term. It was a term that people used with great pride that they crack us. So when we study the etymology of words in the beginning of words, you've, you've all heard my presentations on the origins of the N-word. We sometimes forget the origins and we get caught up in the emotion of the word. And so when we look at the word cracker, we see that it started off, it, it was consistent in its presentation for poor people of European descent. It became something that oh, poor people of European descent who would become the enslavers prison guards to stop them from being um, free in Florida territory with the Seminoles. They were very proud to be crackers. 
They often said that they were great crackers, good crackers. Interesting how words are. That's why we have to study the etymology of words so that we understand what we're saying when we say it and how we say it. I just want to take this time to talk about this family. I thought this was very interesting. It's a very interesting concept that we all need to start to study. I ask you please, family, I speak not in jest, in, in, in joking. I'm not speaking to insult. I'm speaking to inform. We need to have this information.